Today we're looking at Journey and Sachi Dananda by Alice Coltrane featuring Ferry Sanders, 1970 on Impulse Records. Alice Coltrane, born Alice McLeod in Detroit, grew up in the Baptist Church and was involved in gospel music and then, uh, then became involved in jazz music, played in Europe, married uh, John Coltrane in 1965, replaced McCoy Tyner in his group, uh, went on to uh, be band leader of her own and um, produce a whole range of records, uh, starting off as, as jazz records and moving on into spiritual and meditative records. Devoted the later part of her life um, to God and bringing people closer to God and certainly, certainly was a, a highly spiritual being uh, and that's reflected in not only her, her meditative music but also in her jazz music as well. Also on here you've got uh, Ferris Sanders, really prominent, and he's on the soprano the whole way through. On bass you have Cecil McBee on four of the tracks, Charlie Hayden on the one live track that closes the record, Rashid Ali on the drums, and he just brings it, he provides this really driving rhythm throughout the whole record, and then changes it up slightly with Hayden on the live track, which is really interesting to close it. Mahid Shabazz, who uh, I actually don't know as a musician, but he's really prominent throughout on the bells and percussion. Uh, Vishnu Wood on the oud, and uh, Tulsi, who plays uh, the tambura, which provides sort of a drone that is throughout the whole record and, and really gives it the feeling. It, you, you get, um, it, it's sort of like the backbone to the whole record and everything else sort of swirls and comes up from that, that sort of droning uh, noise throughout the piece. It's essentially a modal jazz record, but um, with a really, certainly a very direct and apparent spiritual theme. It sort of tracks Alice's spiritual journey and it's dedicated to, I guess, her mentor at the time, Swami Sachidananda, and it's certainly very open about its spiritual nature. Recorded from what I believe at um, the Coltrane family home in New York, um, I believe that John, before he passed away, had set up a studio down there. So it really does have that, I, f I believe that room provides kind of a, this sort of spiritual outpouring um, that really adds to the recording. Uh, it opens with um, Cecil McBee's bass line and again that tambura and um, that kind of gets the theme going of this really kind of swirling noise, swirling driving noise that runs the whole way through. Uh, from there, um, Alice Coltrane is on the harp, but also comes on the organ in a few of the tracks, and she kind of has interplay throughout with um, with Ferro Sanders. Um, Stop over Bombay, which is a track about um, uh, the anticipation of of a spiritual journey to to India and to Sri Lanka, and the closing track, which is recorded live at the Village Vanguard, and that's the one where Charlie Hayden comes into his own. I got this one at A1 Records in New York, um, one of my favourite record stores. Uh, I always seem to pick up good stuff. I've been in there a few times. Uh, I picked it up for $20, which is sort of on the cheap end. Um, you may find it in record stores, but it is a popular record that people are going to grab uh, when it turns up in a record store. My recommendation would be to look at Discogs or eBay. Uh, you'll be looking in the $30 to $50 range. It has had um, a couple of contemporary sort of reissues, I think, so you can find it pretty cheap um, in, to, in that reissue form. It is uh, incredibly um, uplifting and accessible music. Uh, it is kind of on the edge of that avant-garde and, and toes the line of free jazz, but it's certainly not a free jazz record. Sometimes Ferry Sanders gets up into that really, um, you know, where he's really blowing and really getting the most out of his instrument, but it certainly doesn't um, get away from any kind of rhythmic or melodic feel. It is really accessible. Uh, anyone that's into any... Coltrane stuff, um, this is going to be for you. Ferris Sanders stuff, this is going to be for you. Even if you're not into jazz music, I think you're going to find this um, really interesting listen. Alice Coltrane, Journey and Sachi Dananda, featuring Ferris Sanders, 1970 Impulse Records.